obviously you've spent some time with young Ryan Blaney the last couple of weeks, particularly uh, he's always popping by the shop, hit practice, checking on the boys, but obviously a big week. But you said it, and I was thinking it earlier when we talked on the phone. I was thinking this. It has been a bit of a coming of age of Ryan Blaney's like matur- maturation maturation as yeah. a race car driver. I'm fumbling some words today. Yeah, there's definitely words, been a though. different level of maturity to be able to yeah, finish him off. And like- because he's always had the speed and had a hard time putting the whole package together. He has put the whole package together consistently through this playoff. Don't think that like he didn't keep the receipts of what happened last year, right? Mm-hmm. Like he, he, we put together this well over round of, round of eight last year, and you know Ryan put that on his shoulders, right? We've we've all as a team, right? We've found ways, and and Michael Hicks, when I was talking to him about the twenty car, said this about the twenty once they got put from the fifty four. They swap did the pit crew swap, and it it almost seems true true for the twelve at times, and it seemed that way. It was like. I said, what's going on? You guys were good on the 54, and now you seem to be struggling on the 20. He goes, man, this thing's cursed. This car is cursed, right? And there's like the 25 for Hendrick. There's been cars mm-hmm. that you say that about, and it almost at times felt like that with the 12. Like, what do we How much get? of that, if you're on that car and you're telling yourself that it's a curse, you it's like manifest that into prophecy. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I, you know, I don't. I there, There's people that do, right? Don't even the only put that, thing. Let's not put no, that I'm not putting that. I tell you, yeah. I ain't, we ain't putting it out there. No, I've he, lived it. I've lived it. through it. Don't put it the out 20 there. car guys have lived through it. If you've been on one of these cars, you lived through it. And it comes down to what Blaney said this week when he was asked the question, and he got a little spicy in the in the uh, media, the, whatever that is about yeah. luck. Media center. Some old boy about said he luck. had the Jimmy Johnson horseshoe up. Correct. He did not like that. No, well, rightfully that, so. That's I'd the be problem. Like, that's the way you get through it, right? Right. The the harder you work, the luckier you get. Yes, yeah, right? right. And you work through it, and you figure out, okay, you don't get emotional about it, right? I think things are drummed up to being uh, superstitious or, you know, luck when you don't, when you're not prepared for it, right? There's stuff that's going to happen, right? If something weird happens, then it happens. But you're prepared for every situation, and. As a 12 group, we found ways that are out of our control and in our control to lose races for the all the time that we've been on the 12. But putting the pen to paper and finishing off and going, okay, why? Why did we Why did we lose that? Even Ryan looking at himself. And, and it was, you know, I would say it was a hard pill to swallow last year to go to Phoenix and watch Joey win the championship. He had to feel a little bit like, man, that was my shot. And I think that's, you know, there's been a huge – like you said, maturation. He's been, you know, showing a ton of maturity and, and closing the races off. And he's always had the speed. Blaney's got Kyle Larson speed. You know, it's just finishing it off, you know, bookending it. And he's doing that now, which is really dangerous. Really dangerous. 